In 0.12, two new scav bosses were implemented, one on the woods map which I've already made a video about, and another on the brand new map reserve. This video is all about this scav boss, Glukar, and his traits and more importantly, how to go about killing him to get his sweet sweet loot. As already mentioned, the Glukar is located on the new military base map reserve. This boss doesn't have one specific spot within the map that he likes to hang like the wood scav boss does, instead there are a few different locations that you can find him. The most common location that I've found him is the maintenance and repair point, and is found more specifically in and around the smaller garage in that area. And you can also find him in the buildings of the barracks and the academic area, and on the platforms of the shipment and temporary storage station. These locations are marked on the map on screen, so if you aren't confident of the map layout, you'll be able to navigate to him pretty easily. Glucar is pretty heavily protected and carries some massive firepower. From screenshots and pre-release information, we were aware that he carries the brand new Ash-12. From my experience, he also carries the beautiful M1A EBR paired with the Voodoo 6x scope. This M1A is loaded with M61 rounds, so is going to be putting holes in any armor class with ease. He can also carry a PP-19 Zenit loaded with Luger CCI, or an APS slash APB pistol loaded with PGZH ammunition as secondary weapons. Also, when fighting this guy, expect grenades. He likes grenades, and lots and lots of them. He's not only protected by his arsenal of high powered weapons, but he has quite a few bodyguards. They can either be dressed like Rashala's bodyguards, or in green camo print clothing, so you really can't miss them. These followers also pack a punch with a wide range of weapons that they can carry. You're most likely going to see a few AKMs when taking out these followers though, and they are packed with T45M tracer rounds. They can also use M1As with M62 ammo, AS fouls with SB5 ammo, AK74Ms with BT ammo, AK104s with T45M again, and they can sometimes even spawn with drum mags, M4s with M856A1, MP133s and 153 shotguns either with rip or buckshot ammo, 12 gauge shotguns with the new drum mags loaded and either rip or buckshot again, PP19s or MP5s loaded with Luger CCI or green tracer, Kedders with SB7 GZH ammo, and a few variations of pistols like shrimps and grouches. They even mount the gun emplacements around the map so make sure you're not in the open. They also take after Glucar with his love for grenades so make sure you're not getting cornered also. In terms of armour, the scav boss not only has a higher base health than normal scavs, but he carries both head and body armour too. He wears a LZSH helmet which can come with or without a PNV-10T night vision rig attached, or he can wear the actual face rig for night vision itself. This helmet doesn't have a face shield though, so you should be able to take him out with one or two well placed shots to the head. In terms of body armour, if you're lucky he'll wear a pack of soft body armour and a Haley strategic chess harness. Otherwise, he'll be rocking a Tactec or an M2 plate carrier, meaning he can hold more ammo and even more grenades. The followers are usually carrying heavy armour than Glucar himself. Body armours can vary anywhere from Packer to 4 armours, but the most common armours that you'll see are either Reader M body armours or the Gem 4 full protection. Head protection is also vast, and some bodyguards won't even have helmets at all, but some of them you'll see rocking an Alton or a Vulcan helmet on the top of their heads. Don't fret too much because in my experience both the Vulcan and the Alton helmets have the visors up, so even with low penning ammo types, if you're accurate enough you'll be able to bring these enemies down. Much like other scav bosses in Tarkov, you're less likely to see Glucar than you are his bodyguards. There are a lot of bodyguards around him, usually there'll be about 5-7 to seven of them in the area. Some of them, they'll stay close to the boss himself, but others they'll be patrolling around the vicinity. These bodyguards are quite aggressive, so you can take a shot, they will head to that shot location. If they spot you, they will charge at you, meaning you're going to want to have good cover when taking on this boss. Not only good cover, but you're also going to need a route to escape if needed. They do throw grenades like I said, and if they're charging you and you're backed into a corner, then you're most likely going to die. Glucar himself becomes more aggressive with each bodyguard that you kill until there's nobody left but him. Then, he will likely retreat and hide away which means you need to go around the area and find him. Now you know everything about the scav boss, his bodyguards and their traits. Now let's talk about killing them. Firstly, your weapon of choice is important. At low level it's especially hard to find a weapon which is great for taking out all of them. 
Personally, I choose the SKS sold by prop or loyalty level 1, and either load 20 round magazines in them if I have them, or bring a stack or two of PS ammunition and load them into the internally loaded magazine. This is a great choice as you're firing powerful ammo to penetrate armour if needed, it's relatively cheap and has good hip fire accuracy if you get into a bit of a pickle. Next, pick your route of attack. All the locations where the boss spawns has buildings around and plenty of hard cover. Ducking in and out of buildings or flanking behind concrete walls are going to be your best chance for survival against the scav boss. You're very unlikely to survive a head on assault. The locations you can find him in all have buildings, whether it be the larger garage, the barracks building or watchtowers or bunkers. So get high. I have found that scav boss guards struggle to hit you if you're at a height. Also, their grenades will either explode in the air before reaching you or hit the sides of the buildings, meaning you're going to be safe from grenade blasts as well. Once you've taken out one or more of the bodyguards, try to find one that is isolated and safe to loot. If you have one that is isolated and safe to loot, go and do so, because you'll be able to pick up higher tier armors and you'll be able to hunt for the remaining bodyguards without a huge chance of getting one tapped by other enemies in the area. Picking up higher tier armors will definitely give you a higher chance of survival anyway, as the bodyguards don't instantly aim for the head, they would rather hit center mass. So now you've picked up some armor, and you've killed a couple of the bodyguards, at this point I'd like to say well done. This scav boss is no easy feat, he is very challenging because of the amount of enemies and the amount of firepower heading your way. The aggressiveness also doesn't help with the bosses, so that's why I say get high, they don't come all the way up to the top of the roofs, so you should be fine. Taking out the rest of them is pretty much the same, just be precise, take your time and don't worry about anything. Keep your ears out for the surroundings because people can be heading to your location. And once you've taken out all the scav bodyguards, take this moment to scan the area completely. You would have created a lot of noise as I've just said, meaning players and player scavs are likely heading to your location. And once you've checked the outside area, check the inside buildings and just to make sure there's no one camping in a window waiting for you to stop and loot. Once you've done that and you're relatively confident that the area is clear, grab any grenades off the bodyguards and take some more meds. You should then be able to look for Glucar hiding somewhere. When looking for him, make sure you check every angle. He can be in a small side room or behind crates and barrels. Using some grenades you've picked up can often flush him out of certain positions, where then you'll be able to kill him out in the open. If you're lucky, he won't be hiding and you can kill him before even killing all of the bodyguards. Just be aware that there is an Ash-12 that can sometimes spawn on this scav bus, so make sure you check your corners, because one or two hits with the Ash-12 is gonna bring you down. Now after killing Glucar, do one more sweep of the area, checking to make sure there's no one hiding in corners or no one's moved to the positions you've previously checked. Then, after you've checked and once again you're relatively confident the area is secure, go and loot Glucar himself. He will have the common 2x2 slot pockets rather than the typical 1x1 and they can contain quite a few valuables. Commonly found items in the pockets include labs, keycards and GP coins which can sell for quite a large amount of money. Honestly though, the main bulk of value is going to be from weapons and armour from Glucar and his followers, so at a lower level with not much gear, I would definitely consider avoiding him if possible unless you're up for the challenge. This is definitely a challenge that you'll feel proud of if you do it successfully, and now all you need to do is extract. If you don't know the extracts then this may be a good idea to check out my extract guide on the channel which can help you find an easier way out. A link is in the description and the card annotation on screen for you. So, in summary, just get the high ground with a weapon loaded with penetratable armor like the SKS and you should have the best chances of survival. Loot quickly and make sure your surroundings are clear. And then, the scav boss is down, hopefully. Obviously you're not going to kill him every time, but if you're up for the challenge, it's definitely going to reap its rewards through weapons and armor. Hopefully this video gives you an understanding on the routes to take in order to take out this boss and if you have any ways that you prefer please let me know down below in the comments. If you have any questions also let me know because I'll be happy to help you guys out. Join the discord which is in the description because there's plenty of guys there that are looking for people to play with and we'd love to have you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you want, subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest 0.12 content, I've got plenty more to come. Hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss out on a single video. Guys, I absolutely love you, all your support from 0.12 start to now has been absolutely incredible. I will see you in the next video, much love, I'm gonna come and maybe even make your breakfast in the morning if you're lucky. 
I'd like to thank you all for staying to the end of this video, but before I end it, I'd like to tell you something about Shadow. Shadow is a company that I'm working with to promote Max Gaming PC settings anywhere you are. Shadow is a cloud-based subscription service which allows you to subscribe $30 a month and you can play any games, Max settings, anywhere you are, which means you can have a broken up PC, a shitty laptop, or a Mac, and you can still play games like Tarkov in Max settings, 1440p, 60fps, and this is actually how I record all my gameplay and stream Tarkov at this point in time. So if you liked how the game looked in this video, then check out the description and it'll take you to Shadow's website. You can do more research there. And if you do decide to sign up using the code SAM10, you'll get $10 off your first month. Thank you so much everyone. Toodle pip, cheerio. Enjoy your evening.